am a, I am a spirit. I live in a body, and I possess a soul. Amen. The Bible says you are a spirit, you live in a body, and you possess or you have a soul. So man is a three-part being that is foundational for the Christian life. Many people have been to church all their life and never got that concept. But you got to understand that concept because there's a part of you that lives in the, in, in the spirit realm. It's part of you live in the natural realm. Your body lives in this world. It was made for this world. That's why it breathes this world's air. It smells this world's smells. Say amen. It keeps you in tune with this world. But, 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 but when Jesus came, he started talking about this kingdom, amen, which was really, he was just talking about there's another realm, another world, amen, that you have to learn to enter into. Are y'all there? Now, I got to teach you, especially if you don't have foundation for, uh, to, to, uh, if you have, don't have a lot of understanding about the kingdom of God, I want to teach you that, amen? All right, let's go. Look at Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, let's start at verse 7. When you get there, say amen. Well, let's look at verse 6. Y'all there? It says, uh, for to be carnally minded uh, is death. Now, carnally minded means worldly minded, fleshly minded. Amen? I told you all before that before you're saved, you're living from the, uh, from the outside in. That means you live based upon your atmosphere, the surroundings, the people around you, the signals your flesh receives. That's how you live. When you get saved, you start living from the inside out. Why? The Bible says when you got saved, the kingdom of God took up residence in you. Say amen. So we looking all around for, the, for, 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 the, for, the, for, the, for heaven or, or the kingdom of God, not heaven, but the kingdom of God. And Jesus said the kingdom is inside of you. The Bible says we have this treasure in the earthen vessel. Come on. The Bible says Christ in you, the hope of glory. Come on. So, so, so when you begin to pray, you got to understand that there is a spiritual aspect that now resides on the inside of you that that's where you're really going to get a lot of information from. That's where the Holy Spirit takes a residence in your spirit. Say amen. Are y'all there? Okay. I'm got to lay foundation tonight. Y'all there? Okay, look, 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 look at verse 6 again. It says... Uh, for to be worldly minded, carnally means worldly, living out of the natural instincts, natural dictates. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Look at verse 7. The carnal mind is, is, is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Are y'all there? So the Bible is saying that what God is doing after he saved me was to cause me to think and operate on a spiritual level. Say amen. Because I operated my whole life on a natural carnal level. What does that mean? When my body said I was hungry, I go eat. I listen to what my body said. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um. Jesus said after he, uh, uh, Paul said that I, he had to learn to fast after he met Christ. So what he was saying was, if I want more of the spirit, then I'm going to have to do some things that keep me in tune with the spirit. Because giving in to the flesh keeps me worldly, carnally minded. Well, what the, what's wrong with being carnally minded? Well, the Bible says that it's hard to see the kingdom of God and understand what God wants if you are not spiritually minded are y'all there the bible says spiritual things are spiritually understood so people are going to church get hearing this word which is really supposed to be spiritual and they cannot understand it because they are thinking about it in a carnal way they never come out of the worldly way of thinking so the bible starts saying stuff like renew your mind come on renew the way you think why is that important the Bible says, out of abundance of the heart, the mouth starts speaking. That means whatever I'm thinking about, as a man thinking, so is he. So I, so, so, so I got to learn to change what, the way I think so I can change the way I talk. Because Jesus said, you can have whatever you say. So we grew up just agreeing with negativity. It was just a way of life. 
and, and Jesus said that you got to be careful. And Paul said life and death is in the power of the tongue. Come on, I'm trying to show. I'm, I'm going to give you all contrast between these two worlds. Are you there? Now, the way we enter to the spirit realm, the Bible says without, matter of fact, don't let me, don't, don't let me get ahead of myself. Y'all got me running up here. Let me take my time. Are y'all there? Look at verse Verse 7 again, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Why do I want to be spiritual? Because those that are in the flesh, it don't mean those that have a, have a body. We all have a body. It's talking about those that, that, that live out of the dictates or the instincts of the flesh cannot please God. Come on. So people, so we go to church, but a lot of us are really don't understand. We're probably not pleasing God because Jesus said, if you really want to please me, if you really want to follow me, you're going to have to deny the things you want. Because I'm trying to teach you how to get more of this other kingdom, but you're going to have to deny what you want a lot of times to see what I'm talking about. Are you there? Are y'all there? Okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's look at verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit.